Okay, so the first thing we want to do is head over to canva.com. If you already have an account, sign in. If you don't create an account, you only need a free account for this. From there, you want to go to create a design and type in custom dimensions. Now, I've already made an insert before, so I actually just saved the file, so I always have it. But a good hack, if you're like, how do I figure out the dimensions, head over to the cloth and paper website. Um, if you've never shot with them before, they are a company that sells like decor. And go into the menu and click on size guide, and they actually give you all of the sizes for any type of planner you could have. So. You want to go ahead and look for your size. So if you have like an LV like I do, you'll look over here. Um, if not, you will just kind of figure out which one you want. For today, we are making an insert for my Notique planner, which is the same size as my GM, which is an A5. So the dimensions are 5.8 by 8.3. So I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to make sure I put 5 by 8. Oh, let me actually back up. Change pixels to inches. 5.8 by 8.3 and we're going to create a new design and if you don't want to start from scratch canva gives you a ton of templates but we're not actually using those i'm going to create a template from scratch so here's my old inbox dashboard that you all always ask me about and i want to make a different one so the so i'm going to show you how to do this but i do want to make something different i just need to see what font i use okay so i used the font benedict so the first thing i'm going to do is click on text Click on add text. Let me change this so it's not as big. Where'd it go? Actually, undo, undo, <laughs> because that text was massive. So I'm gonna type in inbox. Okay, there we go. And let's see. So this is the font that I used before, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna change that, but we'll get there. So then the next thing I'm gonna do is see this little arrow? I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna turn it. So if you want yours to say inbox the long way, you can just do that. And then if you want it to be repositioned, you can stretch it. So now I'm just going to go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Then from there, you're going to go into elements. And I just typed in email. And that's how I got all of these symbols. So which ones did I use? I can't remember. I use the at sign, the pen, and the one with the arrow on it. Okay, so there's the at sign, close enough. And then, let's see, where's the one with the arrow on it? Something similar to this, but this isn't quite it. Let's see all recommendations. Mm, let's see. found some different versions that I actually really like so that way we can change it up a little bit Let's see we can use this to make this one a little bit smaller so I'm just like clicking on it to get these little corners and then I'm like dragging and just reshaping to make them a little bit smaller I actually really like those too. Let's see if we can find any other cool elements. Like I said, I want to make something different. Oh no, I don't like that. Okay, let's go back to email and see what else we can find. I don't want to do another envelope. I mean, we can do the add symbol if needed. Maybe the call symbol as well. Nah, I don't like any more of those. OK, 
Okay, let's try notes. I kind of like something like that. Actually, no. This will be good. Okay, so we can delete these. <laughs> so we can. All right. So we can. So now I'm just reshaping. Okay, and I actually decided that I want. I do want this to be the long way. I still like the idea of these being in the corner though. So I like for this to be black. Like, I don't know. Something about the inbox being just black. I guess because I'm using vellum. Mm. Let's see. I'm going to put this in the middle so that way it's not awkward. I don't like this red though. Okay. So yeah, we'll just make it all black. Okay, cool. Just scrolling just to see if I can see anything else that I like before we move on. No, okay. So now I wanna test out a different font. So again, Benedict is what I used before, just so you can kinda, of, again, see the old version. Um, something else, let's see. I'm typing in calligraphy because that'll give us more like, um, let me make this smaller, more like script fonts. I don't know, y'all, it's looking like Benedict's might be the move. Yeah. Yeah, we just gonna go back to what we had before. <laughs> We're going to go back to this one. Okay, cool. So we're just going to leave it like that. Now, the last piece is adding the border. I don't add a border for style reasons. I add it just because it helps me with cutting. So if you don't need help with cutting, if your cutting is perfect, what does it feel like to be God's favorite? <laughs> First of all. Um, okay. And when I do this, I try to put it as close to the edge as possible, but where I can still see it. Again, I'm not doing this to add design. I'm doing this just so I can have some cut lines. So I don't want this to be super thick. Let me move this over some. I don't want it to be super thick at all. I don't want it to disrupt anything when it gets cut. So when you're doing yours, you definitely want to make sure like how I'm going to position this. Oh, it's not, it's not straight. It's kind of crooked. Okay. So like, it's not really touching my little icons, but I'm just going to move that just so we have some cutting room. And then I'll duplicate. So this little button means duplicate if you haven't used Canva before. I know this is supposed to be a tutorial and I'm like super silent as <laughs> I'm focusing. Okay, cool. So then from there, you're going to click download and then you're going to click file type and then you're going to click PDF print and then you are going to print. I recommend printing in Adobe Acrobat Reader and make sure when you print, you print actual. So now it's printing on a piece of vellum. You can get vellum on Amazon. I'll have it linked down below. It's pretty affordable. So here is what it looks like. I love how this looks on vellum. Now, of course, you can print this on cardstock, but I, I just love the look of vellum. Now I am positioning this on my cutting board to be cut, and I don't have my tripod with me, so I can't film this cutting process, but just know that this is the next step is to cut and just so you see how i'm lining this up i am lining it up to cut 
where we put those borders. Um, if you want this cut this cutting board, I'll put it in the description box. I will caveat, it's not my favorite. The blade is not the best. You have to go over things, especially if you're printing on heavier paper like cardstock, a ton of times for it to work. So just want to give that disclaimer, but I do like the size because as you can see, I can actually mark like, you know, how big stuff is based on the different sizes of planners I have. So, yeah. So now I've grabbed my planner hole punch, which is literally my favorite purchase ever. I'm going to take our super cute little dashboard. I'm going to put it in there. Bam. There we go. That's how I do my vellum inbox dashboard. It is so cute. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm more obsessed with this one than I am with the very first one that I made.